You know, I thought that the Georgia Tech, they went to a matchup zone fairly early in the game. And, um, you know, I thought we, we, we attacked it well partially, but the, there were too many open possessions for us where we weren't necessarily in the spots we needed to get to or um, a pass is being made instead of going to meet the pass. We kind of waited and they were able to get a hand or a deflection on it. So we have to do a better job of going to meet the ball and also being strong with the ball when they come down and, uh, and they trapped us in certain situations. Questions for Coach Manning? Danny, it looked like you guys had a little different defense than what we've seen from you. Um, what was the plan and how did it not work? Um, well, I mean, you know, we wanted to wanted to make them make some shots on the perimeter, um, and, and I thought that as far as that goes, I mean, you know, we they made six threes. Um, and obviously, we, you know, we're hoping you can test and do better than that. But that was the thought process: make them shoot some shots from the perimeter. Um, we had a tough time guarding Banks, and. Uh, so we wanted to, to, to show a little bit more resistance in the paint in that regard. And then, uh, you know, late game, just situ it's a situation where, you know, we're, we're down and we're, we're playing catch up and we need to try to speed the game up. So you need to trap and try to get the ball back. And then you know, offensively, you need to try to score when the clock is stopped. And so that's what we're trying to do. Is it just a young team fouling instead of trapping there? Mm. Well, you want to, I mean, you don't want a lot of time to go off the clock. You know, and when we started that, we only had 14 fouls. And so in order to get the ball back, they had to shoot free throws. So, you know, we had to put ourselves in a situation where they were in the bonus and getting to the free throw line. But it was also a chance for us to be aggressive and come up with a steal. I know one time I think Sean D came up with a steal and, and things like that. It's, you know, so it's a situation that you work on, and um, that's, what we were, that's what we were doing, you know, trying to get back into the game by any means necessary. It seems like you got stuck a couple times at five. You got it to five and a half, and then a couple times late in the game, you got it to five, and then just couldn't quite get past that hump. Uh, yeah, that's right. You know, whether it's a situation where we didn't get what we wanted to um, defensively or, or offensively, but yeah, we, we couldn't ever get over that hump. Danny, saw you started Sharon in the second half. Did you like what he was giving you a little bit more story at um, that moment in time? Well, you know, I thought Torre was also in foul trouble a little bit. And so, you know, those guys play um, similar amount of minutes. And then you go back and look at the box score. I think um, June, Sharon played 23 tonight, and, and Torre played 18. And one of those two will get that amount of minutes each game. And, and it varies depending on how they're playing and foul trouble. It seemed like for a short period, you even went three guard. Was there anything specific you was trying to get accomplished with that lineup? We had Brandon in with those two guys. Well, I thought um, those guys were. I thought Jim was really good at being aggressive and hitting the gap, hitting the seam in that zone. And um, also thought Brandon was shooting the ball well. And I thought one of those two guys could hit the seam and kick it out to Brandon for a shot. How much do you think that spurred at the end of the first half factored in, just getting that one more cushion? Oh, you know, you always want to finish out the halves right. And, um, you know, we didn't finish out the half to, to our liking. You know, we, we have to be a lot more disruptive and, uh, on the defensive end and uh, present more resistance in terms of letting them um, execute the way that they did. You know, we have to try to take something away. You had some strong compliments for fans before the game. Thanks. He's a strong player, but did, was he even more than you expected? Uh, it's not to be disrespectful, but you know, from the standpoint I've watched him for a while, <laughs> you know, I, I, I know what type of player he is. He's he's a unique big in the sense of uh, he's a big guy, but he's mobile. He has good bounce and he's active, and he has good hands. And um, big guys like that are hard to find. They had nine first half turnovers. What was leading to kind of the miscombobulation on the offensive side of the ball? And how'd you kind of get it settled a little bit for the second half? Um, well, I think a lot of times it wasn't necessarily the passer, it was the, the receiver not going to meet the ball. Um, and then also putting ourselves in situations where we knew a trap was coming if we caught the ball in the short corner against that zone and not squaring up to the basket. And if, you know, if the goal was right here and I catch it in this short corner, I need to square up to the basket. That way I can see the whole floor opposed to catch it facing this one. 
And so we caught it and didn't square up a couple times and didn't have good vision to see where other players were at on the court. Yeah, I've heard you mention problems with the receiver sometimes and not going to catch it this year and last year. Why does that continue to be an issue? It's kind of part of the game in a sense. You know, there are always going to be steals. There are always going to be turnovers. Um, obviously, you don't want to make a lot of them. But you know, that's, that's part of the competition. Coach, how much did you prepare or take into account the production that Evan Cole or um, Mike DeVoe would, would give today? Same as always. We, we, we know everybody on the roster that plays minutes. And we knew Evan coming in was someone that could shoot the ball, capable score. We recruited Mike DeVoe, so we knew him very well. Anything else for Coach Bannon? It seemed with, with Banks, was him getting, a, getting pretty deep to make catches, is that big part of the problem to you in terms of the way he's able to score so efficiently or is uh, oh absolutely. You know, we, we have to we have to do a better job of when he does catch the ball having an arm bar defensively and then also um, fronting the post. You know, trying to take away that first initial catch. Last one for Coach Manning. Okay.